Okay, so I'm sorry if it is shaky, if it is noisy. Um, yeah, I just, I have to do this in the car because I have, I have not had time like whatsoever to um, sit down and kind of record a video, record an update, but some things have been happening which I am um, just overly excited about. Um, obviously, like I'm not getting my hopes up or anything, but um, it just really excites um, both my husband and I. So, um, without further ado, <laughs> and all the rambling, let me just get right into it. So, okay, so I have been taking OPK tests every morning since cycle day, um, 12. Nothing was happening. Nothing like forever. Nothing was happening. And I almost, um, sorry. I, I, I almost stopped taking them because I felt like I was just wasting a whole bunch of, um, OPKs. And I just, I didn't like that idea. So I stopped. Well, then I started um, getting like egg white um, kind of discharge and I just felt like, okay, you know what, like, I'm going to go ahead and um, take an OK. And this was on cycle day 22, um, which was actually last Thursday. And I hadn't taken an OPK um, for, for two days since then. Um, I stopped taking them like two days before that. So... Um, or, yeah, I think, yeah, something like that. Um, no, 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 I stopped taking it the day before, and then that morning, that Thursday morning, cycle day 22, I didn't take it when I first woke up, um, because I just wasn't going to until I started noticing, like, the egg white discharge, so, um, so then I decided to go ahead and take it. It was after lunch that I took an OPK, and usually I take them first thing in the morning, because that's when your urine, you know, is most, most potent, and, you know, all that good stuff, so... Um, I took it um, like after lunch and it came up positive. Um, I was so excited. I was so, so, so excited. Um, so of course, my husband and I baby danced um, that, that evening. And then Friday morning, at, when I woke up, I took another OPK and it came up positive as well. So we beat it again that night. So currently I am um, three DPO and we're beyond excited not that we're expecting to like get pregnant our first you know our first time out on clomid but i'm just excited because i i haven't ovulated ever since that we've been trying literally um and it's been uh oh gosh almost two years now yeah it'll be two years come october come october so um we're just excited that finally my lady parts are working, something's going on down there, and um, yeah, that just really makes me excited. Again, I'm not trying to get my hopes up or anything, of course not, like, I'm only 25, so even if it doesn't happen until I'm like 30, you know, it's, I mean, we're ready to have kids now, but I'm, I don't, I'm really just gonna take it one year at a time and kind of just let when it happens it happens um when it's our time you know then it's our time and I don't think I'm going to really start stressing out about it too too much um until if it doesn't happen by the time I'm 30 you know then I think I'm really going to start worrying but um my husband is he'll be 28 next week actually so um he's kind of like I want to have a kid before I'm 30 so you know but anyway, that is all I have um, to update y'all on. Like I said, I am currently 3DPO. I will um, probably post another update um, when I take well, when I take my first pregnancy test. So um, that'll probably be like in a week at least. Um, like I said, I'm not. I'm not trying to rush things. If it's, if it's like another week and a half, you know, with the complete two week wait, you know, then that'll be when it is. I'm not going to like try and get too, um, too anxious about this. This is the first time, you know, so uh, I really just don't want to get 
my emotions all riled up. So anyway, um, I will talk to you guys later and I hope everyone had a wonderful fourth. That's another reason I had family down and we were doing, you know, all kinds of stuff for the holiday and even though like I was literally ovulating the third and the fourth, I just did not have time to really record a video or do anything other than um, worry about the holiday. So anyway, I hope everybody had a wonderful fourth and I will see y'all in about a week. Bye.